Hello and welcome to my channel. I am Stephanie and as you can see we are in a, a different, very different location. We're in my car um, because the kiddo back there had a swim meet super early this morning and we normally go uh, and well, the boys usually go grocery shopping on Sundays and I usually stay home and record these videos in my studio, but it's a swim meet, so of course I have to go. And that is not my entry. Oh my goodness. Hello and welcome to my channel. I'm Stephanie. This is the week 46, November the 10th through the 16th weekly wrap up. Now, as you can see, I'm in a different space and um, I'll probably cut that so you'll be seeing like my ramblings and stuff like that. Um, so yeah, swim meet super early in the morning and I am recording in my car because we came straight from the swim meet to grocery shopping. Um, let me just get into what I read last week and you know, do the normal stuff. Make sure you check the description box. This is if you want to time jump, if you don't have time to uh, listen to the whole video, but come back, I appreciate it. Um, if you want to see a specific book that I'm talking about, they are timestamped down there, as well as affiliate links that are no extra cost to you, but help me in my little change purse and also information for my Patreon because I have a whole slew of stuff coming out over there that is behind the scenes and vlog like and just a little bit more personable. So what did I read last week? Last week I started the week off with finishing Open House by Ruby Lang. I placed this in women's fiction. I give it 3.5 stars. I give it two Steam fans. I read this as an arc and this is a very scenic like look at um, the historical sort of section of New York uh, in the brownstone section and stuff like that. You have Magda who is a semi realtor. She doesn't really know what she wants to do with her life and things like that. So she is trying to sell her uncle's uh, brownstone, but he is reluctant to sort of sell it. This is a novella. And um, then you have Ty, who is a CPA, I believe it was. And he doesn't know exactly what he wants to do with his life as well. But he has this community garden that he just absolutely loves and has been helping him. Well, Magna ends up getting the assignment to sell that community lot. And the two of them end up meeting because he's like the face of the community lot yeah it's 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 very interesting it was more about their journey of finding themselves and finding out what they wanted to do uh than the actual romance between the two of them so it was just a uh for me the next book that i finished was sacrifice by n Isabella Blanco and this is part of the sinister fairy tale collection of standalone stories that are taking fairy tales and throwing them on their edge. I give this one four stars. I give it four steam fans. I read it as an arc and this one has so much action and sexiness and it's about the mythical retelling of uh, Hercules and Meg. So in this version Hercules is called Herc Hercules? Her Hercules? Yeah. And Meg is Megara. Megara. And the both of them are like back and forth with this like love hate thing that's going on. She wants to kill him because of things that he had to do or she had to do to, you know, be in Hades realm and it was just all kinds of crazy it really sort of drug me in after I figured out what was going on and uh, how the story was going to sort of start to evolve and I really ended up enjoying it I am looking forward to um reading more about this one because from what I understand this is a 3.5 in a series and um 
and Isabel Blanco. She has other books that connect sort of with this story. So I'm kind of, I'm really excited to sort of maybe go back and read the first two books or the three books that come before this one or what have you, but we'll see. Um, I just really enjoyed this one. It's a reimagining of Hercules and Meg. So just if you didn't catch that before. The next book that I finished was Everything's Better with Lisa by Lucy Eden. I place this in contemporary. I give this book 4.5 stars. I give it four Steam fans. I read this one as an arc as well. And this is a interracial relationship story. Um, and our Hispanic newly divorced Lisa is now trying to get her life back together and she moves to New York. I believe it is New York City and she's getting her life back on track after she's got divorced she's living in this brownstone of Cole's sister and Cole ends up having this run-in with her because he gets drunk one night and they have codes on their doors um, and he picks his sister's brownstone instead he's like trying to get in and has the wrong code because it's the wrong brownstone and Lisa comes and threatens him with a bat this is what starts their interaction and I really really enjoyed it this is sort of a hard-hitting story as well because it deals with quite a few different um different aspects it did lose a couple stars because I didn't get a real good feel about what Lisa actually went through um for her divorce and I kind of wanted a little bit more from that but other than that it was absolutely amazing um Cole is adopted so you should know that and it's just it's a black author I forgot to tell you that as well so if you're looking for diversity written by diverse authors this is one that you need to definitely pick up it's definitely something that dragged me in in that first like 20 percent and I was like oh I need to completely finish reading the rest of the series and I went and picked up the rest of the books in the series the next book that I finished was A Mate's Bite by Millie Tendell this is a paranormal romance I place that's where I place it um, I give it four stars. I give it three Steam fans. I listened to this as an audiobook, and this was just a sort of palate cleanser because the last book was a little heavy and a little emotional. This one was just something fun and that I have been listening to the series. I do love Millie Tindall. Um, this is a marked um, pack story, and Kara is a woman that we had already met in the first story of this and this is sort of a continuation of an overarching story where the pack is being um is being threatened and this is another brother i think it is and during the scenting the same scenting mating ritual that we had already heard about um yeah this is Kara and nate's story so there you go Alrighty. On to the next book. The next book is Heart and Soul uh, by Erin Kinsella. I place this in LGBT. Um, I give this book four stars. I give it two Steam fans. I read this as an arc because the author um, contacted me and asked me to advance read this one. This doesn't actually come out until next year. Um, I did really enjoy this story. This story is set in South Korea in Seoul. And if you didn't know, I was stationed in South Korea for two and a half years, um, a year and a half pre September 11th. Um, I spent September 11th in Korea and then um, I went back for another year after September 11th as well. Um, but this story revolves around Tessa, who is a, she wrote a book about a k-pop um singer and the group and it gets picked up to be adapted to a film and they call her to come over she has some familial uh connections to south korea as well this book is really really drenched in um korean culture and language and everything like that so if you are not familiar with the korean language it couldn't can be a little bit difficult um our k-pop star is yoon jin and there are a lot of other names that are korean names that are um used as well uh like i said a lot of korean speech and um words and terminology and everything like that there is a glossary in the 
end of the book, but it doesn't really help you when you're reading the book. But then it would spoil it if it was in the beginning of the book. So it's a little 50-50. Um, just know that if you're into Korean culture and Korean language and arts and things like that, it's this book is definitely drenched in it and it was an enjoyable read, um, besides, you know, besides that. And I just really, really enjoyed it. There is content warning for PTSD, for depression, for anxiety, for um, sexuality, and I think that's it. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Definitely. Alrighty, the next book that I finished reading was Holidate by Monica Murphy. I placed this in contemporary. I give this book three stars. I give it 1.5 Steam fans. Um, I read this as an arc from NetGalley. Um, I'm kind of disappointed in this book. This book just didn't do it for me. It was just like, meh. I mean, there really was no steam. I literally had to go back and search different sexy tie sexy words um to see if they appeared in the story and no they didn't no because i got to like the 75 percent mark and i was like have they even kissed yet did we get some kissy kissy some making out something something hot heavy no 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 i think they had a couple kisses like very very like sweet this book is very sweet. It's low angst, very sweet. Um, I guess it could you could say it's just like a fun Christmassy sort of read because this revolves around Candace, who is a Christmas coordinator for this town that um, we've already been introduced to. And it was a little annoying to continually hear about how rich they were. That was kind of a little annoying. I was a little perturbed by that. I'm like, okay, thanks. Do I need to know that they're rich but live beyond, you know, don't live like they're rich? No, again, no, I really don't. You're, you're spoiling my fun. So there's that. The next book that I read was Con Hartist, and that is by J.D. Hollyfeld and Kay Webster. I placed this in rom-com. I give this book four stars. I give it three Steam fans. I read this as an arc, and this is a book about a con artist who is named Luca. Yeah, Luca. And he gets into a little bit of trouble on the East Coast and gets hired by this guy called Mr. Death from the West Coast and is like, hey, I need you to go kidnap this woman. Her name is Francis. They have to move across the country. He's given like certain hour marks, you know, be in Philadelphia at this time, be in Pittsburgh at that time, be in Colorado at this time. And they're con artists. So yeah, they have so much shenanigans that go along. It was so much fun. Uh, there's a little chihuahua dog thing that goes, that's part of this. And it was so cute such a cute funny read and it sort of um got a little bit overly you know um put out with their shenanigans but at the same time um it went okay because the shenanigans were explained i was like how are they getting away with so much st shenanigans 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 and then it was all explained it was like oh okay but i am gonna need more books because there are some other characters in this ser in this book that i was just like i need to have their story i need their story please give me their story you know jd and k please bring it bring bring me their stories i need them the next book that I finished was A Rebel King, All the King's Men, number two by Kennedy Ryan. This is a realistic contemporary. This is the second book and I give it five humongous, amazing, so good stars. Oh my goodness. It was so amazing. So amazing. I've been chomping at the bit for like two and a half weeks for this sit for the for the conclusion of the story. And I finally got it. I gave it three Steam fans. I read it as an arc. It comes out today. If you have not went and bought 
the first book you need to buy the first book and this book because this series this duet is absolutely amazing so this follows lennox and maxim and like i said this is the conclusion to their story if you know about the first one you know that it is scandal-esque in nature uh kennedy took inspiration from the world of scandal to write this story then she took um history and characteristics of native american women and things like that and or the native american culture and put it all together with some politics with some sexism with some loving and just so much goodness and the conclusion did not fail it was absolutely uh, amazing 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 did you see that i didn't give you any sort of clues about what was going on in this book because i'm not going to i'm not going to give you any spoilers whatsoever you need to go into this and just be part of that story just let it wash over you let just let it let it go just just do it and enjoy it and love it because it's amazing 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 and if you love Kennedy Ryan you're gonna know her writing style and know her you know flair for the drama for the scandal for the goodness and just ooh, yes 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 and the final book that I read last week was Mafia Cinderella and I this is by Sky Warren this I place in erotic novella sort of sort of um but it's a fairy tale retelling for cinderella and i give this book three stars it was just meh for me like really just meh um i only give it 1.5 steam fans um i listened to it on the podcast of read me romance read read me romance and this book follows lucia who is a worker in a sweatshop and sebastian who is the guy that ends up buying that sweatshop and knows that it's bad but at the same time doesn't know how bad it is he ends up seeing lucia and is like like I'm gonna invite her to the ball because everyone that works here has to gets to go to the ball and they do all that and then yeah you don't actually get sexy time and it was like super brief it was like 30 seconds it was like at night so mad so mad just 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 saying just saying um okay on to what I am currently reading I am currently reading Becoming by Michelle Obama. This is my viewer pick for the month of November, so I'm trying to get through to that. I am doing a read-along vlog for that that will be available over on Patreon. So please support if you want to see how I was thinking as I was reading this book. The next book I am reading is 21 Truths About Love by Matthew Dix. And um, I picked this up from NetGalley as an ARC. This either has already released or is releasing like at the end of the year. Um, and it was, it's, it's very weird. It's so weird right now. I wanted to read more male authors. So I was like, okay, Matthew, um, pretty male gendered name. So I'm going to go ahead and you know get into that and see what it's all about it's supposed to be a romance and things like that uh so yeah we'll see we will see this is also going to count towards uh buzzwordathon which i'm excited about um i'm also listening to leave me breathless by jody ellen malpas and this is about a spy that has decided to sort of retire he has a daughter he moves back to the sleepy town that he has always been with and is now going to be living in where his daughter lives as well and he meets this woman that has an art sh art store and she seems to have a bit of a history maybe that's keeping them secret keeping a secret right now it's just really super swoony 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 and i think i'm about oh 30 maybe 40 percent into it and i'm really enjoying it uh but i'm gonna need some action here soon something something 
as I said, I am participating in Buzzwordathon, which is a readathon being hosted by Kayla from Books and Lala, and her co host is Gabby from Gabby Reads. And the buzzword for this round is uh, books with numbers in the title. So, as I said earlier, that uh, 21 Trues works because it's 21. I am also going to be trying to read The Two Week Arrangement by Kendall Ryan, Seven Nights of Sin by Kendall Ryan. Irish on the Rocks, Murphy Brothers, number two by Megan Vernon, and Three Simple Words by A.J. Pine. I will also probably be trying to participate in Contemporary Athon Weekend Edition, which is being held or hosted by Chelsea from Chelsea Darling Reads and Julie from Pages and Pens. And it's super simple. It's to celebrate their friendship. And we love real in like real life book friendships. Uh, I know I do. I greatly appreciate the friendships that I have made with India and Lauren and Brie and everyone else that um, I have constant contact with uh here in the bookish community so love you guys and you know let's celebrate with chelsea and julie uh next weekend which is november the 22nd through the 24th just a really short readathon um no challenges or prompts or anything like that just read contemporary and i will be trying to finish up all those books that i just listed so okay wow been talking for a minute got a little face back there um hopefully I don't get like dinged in my video or in my uh YouTube but then again with their new settings and stuff like that I don't think I think I'll be all right I think I will be okay um so have you read any of the books that I just named off and if so let's talk about them down in the description box if it's a new release and you don't want to give spoilers or have discussion um you know out in the public about it feel free to make sure that you're checking out my socials down there in the description box and following me and make sure that we're friends on those socials so you can dm me because I love talking about juicy crazy um amazing books and getting you know different opinions and if we have opposite opinions feel free to dm me as well i'm more than happy to discuss as long as you are open to the discussion i'm open to the discussion so you can hate the book but i love the book and we can openly discuss about the book i'm fine with that I'm cool with that. Just don't come at me like you crazy. Um, other than that, make sure that you check the description box for the timestamps, for Patreon, for um, affiliate links, as well as my Amazon storefront, because I finally qualified for that. Yeah, what? So I will be going back and building ideal list from all of the weeks that I have been reading and putting books in there so if you are looking for a specific book and you know the week that I reviewed it you'll be able to go to that storefront and get it from Amazon if you're not an Amazon lover I'm sorry for you but that is the way that's gonna help me get a little change in my pockets and get you guys you know some good books um other than that, if you like this video, please give me a big thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Also, there is a feedback form down in the description box with all that other good stuff. Thank you for watching and we will see you guys later.